Now let's see this question. Srinu is 50% more efficient than Murli. If Srinu takes 20 days to finish a job, then Murli will take how much time? So they are saying that Srinu is going to finish some work, some job in 20 days. Okay? And Murli, we have to find out the number of days. So since we don't know the number of days, we are taking X days. But then they are saying that if Srinu is going to finish it, uh, you see the, the Srinu's efficiency is 50% more than you know, Morley is efficient. So if you assume that the rate at which Morley is working is Y units per day, then Srinu is 50% more efficient, which means whatever he is doing at that, that speed. See, whenever they say that more efficient, you are supposed to you know, compare with the rates, rate at which they are doing the work, right? So y plus 50 by 100 into y should be the Srinu speed. So whatever Morley speed is there, Srinu is 50% more efficient. That is why if his speed is y, then Srinu speed will be this. So which means it is 1.5 into y. So 1.5 into y units per day. Got it? Fine. Now this is what we got. Now observe this. By working at a rate of 1.5 units per day, he is able to finish the work in 20 days. Right? So, what is the total work done by Srinu? The total work done by Srinu is equal to number of days into units per day. So, which is equal to 20 into 1.5. So, 20 is days and units per day. So, you are going to get units. Isn't it? If I multiply these two, days and days will get cancelled off. So, you are going to get, you know, 30 units. So, 30 units is the total work. There is Y also, right? So, 30 Y units is the total work that is done by Srinu. Okay? So, 30 Y is the total work. Okay? Now, this same work will also have to be finished by Morali. Therefore, what is the total work done by Morali? X days into Y units per day. Therefore, you are going to get X into Y equal to 30y got it so you are going to get x equal to 30 days so this is one way of solving it and there are various ways of other ways of solving it you can also do it that way hmm? now see this what is the uh, relation between time taken and the efficiency efficiency is nothing but the speed isn't it see the time taken to finish a project will be equal to total work divided by rate at which he is doing the work right and now since for both of them the work done is same you can assume this way t1 and r1 right then what about the second one t2 equal to w by r2 okay so time taken by first person divided by time taken by second person will be equal to r2 by r1 right in this case if you see this time taken by Srinu divided by time taken by Murali will be equal to rates will be inversely proportional rate at which Murali is working divided by rate at which Srinu is working given that work is constant isn't it now it is already given that time taken by Srinu is 20 and we don't know what is the time taken by Morley. Let's assume that the time taken is Tm. And what about the rate of Morley? If you assume that rate of Morley is you know some y, y, then rate of Srinu will be 1.5 y, isn't it? If you assume rate of Morley is y, then rate of Srinu will be 1.5 into y. Right? So what does it mean? Time taken by Morley will be equal to 20 into 1.5. So which is 30 days so only mistake you might do here is given that you know for 1.5 y it is 20 days you might try to find out how many days will it take for y then you are you will get less than 20 days which means you are trying to apply a directly proportional relationship here are you getting this if you try to solve it in such a way that for 1.5 y 
the days is 20 then what is the number of days for y if you are trying to apply that way you are actually trying to you know get a relationship in such a way that the number of days required to finish a project is directly proportional to the speed but it is inversely proportional more faster you are the you know less time it will take isn't it therefore speed and this will be inversely proportional if you can observe this you can you can finish it this way now other way of solving it is in, you know initially you can assume that the work is some units and you can go by that so which means if you want to see this see Srinus uh, is taking 20 days to finish the work and Morley is taking let's say x days now you can assume that the total work is you know 200 units or something like this and you can find out isn't it you can assume that the total work is 200 units then what happens is the rate at which Srinu is working will be 200 divided by 20 which means 10 units per day right and we already know that uh, the relationship between the Srinu speed and Morley speed is 3 by 2 right that way you can find out the rate here see if Srinu speed is 10 and we know that the relationship between Srinu speed and Morley speed is you can you know what is the ratio Srinu speed rate at which Morley is working is to rate at which Srinu is working is equal to they are saying that Srinu is you know 1.5 so 1.5 okay and we have found out that Srinu's rate is 10 therefore Morley's rate will be 10 divided by 3 by 2 which means 20 by 3 in this case it is going to be 20 by 3 units per day are you getting this I have assumed that initial work is 200 units and since Srinu is able to finish it off in 20 days the rate is 10 units per day got it and from that I am able to find out the rate at which Murli is working because Srinu is supposed to be 50% efficient so from that I got it now at this at this rate how many days does it take for him to finish 200 units of work so it is nothing but work divided by rate which means 200 divided by 20 by 3 got it so you are going to get 30 days so you can use any of these methods to solve it okay fine